Before we can begin to create these labels for annotation, it's important to understand how the labels work. And this is taking a look at the Open Roads Drawing Production Workflow, and I'm in the Drawing Production and Place Label. This supersedes the MicroStation Connect Place Label command, and it's the civil version of the Place Label command. And in the tool settings, you can place with a leader or without a leader and you can place a text favorite which we just talked about or you can place a cell which we'll talk about in just a minute. So if we take a look at the text favorite I'm going to pick the alignment partial station which came across from our training examples workspace we copied over those favorites I'm just going to use that one as the example and then the dimension style was also included as part of the textiles DGN library that we brought over from the training examples workspace. And we'll talk about dimension styles in another video coming up. But I'm going to use the label for plan station partial and I'm going to do horizontal with a terminator. And so then it prompts me to basically to select my alignment and then we select a point that we want to label and disregard the computer text. It's a placeholder until we accept. And then when we accept, then we have the partial station label shown here with a leader. If I want to place that without a leader, I simply select that icon, go in and set our point, and now you can see that's not going to work so well without a leader, but you get the idea. We could have set that to uh, vertical and got those results. Also, when we go to place, we are able to have the text flip and so if I come in here and accept you do have to identify your alignment first here but as I move left to right see how that automatically flips for us and that's handled in a couple of different ways one is the favorite has an imaginary box that gets put on it programmatically so that it can flip because without that box it can't flip the text. That's just a limitation right now. And so we'll talk about that more when we actually get into our uh, dimension styles. And so that is a text favorite. Then the other option is that we can place a cell. And so we have the option to place a cell or a favorite. And we can select the cell with a dimension style. The advantages of cells is it allows us to do our own framework customized if we want to. So let's jump back over to our file manager here. And if we take a look in the delivered cell libraries, we have annotations here that set up for the Imperial training workspace. And so I'm just going to highlight those. Those cell libraries are all set up for annotations. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy those over to our workspace environment. Again, these are all cell libraries. You'll want to go into them. You want to take a look at what's in there, customize them if you will. But we're going to paste them in here. And then we're going to restart the product so that those will get picked up. And so now if we go back to the place label and we select cell, we're going to have these new entries in here. And notice how they all start with the prefix underscore LBL. This just helps to put those at the top of the cell list and I don't have to go looking for them. So let's say I want to label my alignment name. So I select that alignment name and notice if I have a corresponding dimension style name that is spelled the same that will automatically click and select the dimension style. And I pick my alignment and where I want to label it from then I can say there is my particular alignment. Now what if I wanted to label this alignment where it's parallel to the actual alignment? I can pick the cell name called Label Plan Alignment Name Along and the same with the dimension style. Change the label rotation to inline and leave everything else set as is. We do want to use the terminator because it uses a terminator to determine the angle. And I'm using the nearest snap here and I'm just going to pick my alignment and then pick a couple of points to establish it and there you have your alignment name 
shown along the alignment with an offset based on the dimension style and the textiles built into that particular text favorite within the cell. And so we're going to learn how to do all of that. And here's an example where we would use a cell, for example, to label the plan coordinates. And so I'm just going to pick a particular location I might want to label and accept it. So let's say that we want to I identify this point and label it and then you can drag that out it will compute those coordinates correctly and this is an example of why we would set up our annotations with cells you're going to need favorites to label your automatically label your sheets when you cut them uh, those favorites have to be done and we've included a good set of examples in the Open Roads Examples workspace for you but you're also going to want to create individual annotation cells that have this intelligent text within it that you can create your labels the way you want them to look and operate for these manually type of operations. Uh, typically with this labeler I prefer the using the cells here uh, so that I have more control over the appearance uh, versus text favorites and so we're going to take a look at how we then can create a cell that has intelligent text within it uh, to basically reproduce something like we see here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.